Elise. I'm Tamara. Hi, my name is Emily. This trio of owners are alumni of the popular restaurant Public, located in Manhattan on Elizabeth Street. Anyone who has had the pleasure of eating a meal at Public can readily see its influence on the design and presentation in their new Brooklyn Heights restaurant, Colony. rejected from Kickstarter because we weren't considered to be uh, sort of part of the creative arts, which is what Kickstarter is all about. But we wrote back and we said that the, the kitchen is our theatre and restaurants are our art form. And they quickly agreed with us and, and allowed us to participate. So, so we fell in love with the space because of its natural beauty, all of the exposed brick, as you can see, very high ceilings uh, and just a really bright, airy space. It was pretty much a shell. Uh, we had to start from the absolute scratch and we just wanted to give it a very warm, sort of lived-in feel. Um, we used a lot of recycled materials. Um, right here we're looking at a, a, an I-beam that we turned into a chandelier. Um, the windows, the mirrors, everything, all of the framework was built out of uh, old church pews. Um, we have a, an amazing garden wall. Uh, of which there are 20 species and six of those are edibles. Um, so we're growing some fresh herbs in there which we use in the kitchen. Okay. And everything in the garden wall is made out of recycled materials including the felt, the felt pockets that each plant sits in are made from recycled plastic bottles. Uh, so also, the, the open kitchen is an interesting concept. I, I haven't absolutely. seen this in too many places. It's almost like a sushi bar. It is. It, it sort of takes that concept and goes a little bit further. Um, it's absolutely my favorite way to dine. I love sitting at the kitchen, watching it all happen. And uh, it's kind of cool. As you're looking at the menu, you get to see plates coming up, and uh, you get a visual on the menu as well. Right. Almost like a cross-section of your menu just exactly. by sitting there. Exactly. Yeah. It's designed to basically be uh, a neighborhood space. We wanted to give the people of Brooklyn Heights predominantly uh, a really good local, a place that they can go to two or three times a week, even in their pajamas and just feel very comfortable here. So there's something for everyone on the menu. It's broken up into a lot of different categories. Um, so you can come in and have either a plate of oysters or some cheese or some of our cured meats, um, some crostini, or you can go in and have a dining experience. So we have a salad section, a vegetable section, and a small and large plate section. Okay. Um, What's a, I was reading something about your cure, cured meats. Can you explain that a little bit? So we want to cure all our meats in-house, and that's things like salami and prosciutto and those sorts of meats. Um, we're really big on trying to do as much as we can in-house. So anything that we can make here, we'll try and do that. Um, obviously, it takes a little while to cure meats, so you'll see those creep onto the menu gradually. Okay. As far as uh, child friendly, that's a big thing here in the Heights. Absolutely. We'd be crazy if we didn't um, want to look after the families in the neighborhood. Uh, one of my business partners, Emily, has, has a daughter of three years old. And, um, and, you know, we know a lot of people in the neighborhood with children, so we certainly want to be uh, very welcoming to the, uh, to the families in the neighborhood, for sure. Okay. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about your hours. Okay. So we're open for dinner, Monday to Sunday. Uh, we open at five every night, so again, that was sort of designed to accommodate some of the families that want to get in early and have a quick dinner and, and not be here when it's too hectic. Um, so we'll seven days a week you're open? Seven days a week, um, wow. till 12 from Sunday to Wednesday until one Fridays and Saturdays. We're also going to be opening for brunch uh, in about three weeks' time, and that'll be from 10 to 3 o'clock Saturdays and Sundays. Okay. Seasonal American, um, obviously drawing on as much local produce as, as possible. We certainly want to support as many Brooklyn purveyors as we can. So we get our bread from Roberta's in Bushwick. Uh, we get our cheese from Saxelby Cheesemongers out in Red Hook. Um, and anything that, um, that we can sort of support in the local community, we will. Um, our bar program features uh, a custom-built tap, uh, tap system. 
um, where we dispense three beers and five tap wines and everything on that tap system is out of New York. Okay, and can you just give us a few of your signature dishes? Sure. Um, I would have to say the rabbit lasagna is quickly becoming one I've of our that. signature dishes. Um, and our beet salad is amazing. Many in Brooklyn complain about the Manhattanization of Brooklyn, but in this case, we have a restaurant that compares favorably with any Manhattan restaurant I've been to, and I've been to many, considering I eat out seven days a week. From my dining experience in Brooklyn, the only restaurant that compares favorably to Colony is Saul's on Smith Street. In conclusion, this restaurant will be a premier destination for all in the area, as well as greater Brooklyn. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see Manhattanites crossing the East River to enjoy what Colony has to offer. One last point. My wife and I ate quite a bit of food and the bill was under $100. Colony is a winner. In fact, with the risk of sounding a bit hyperbolic, the opening of Colony, in my opinion, is a transformative event for Brooklyn Heights and vicinity. Brooklyn Heights now has a class restaurant that can rival any in the greater New York City area. Bravo, Colony. Thank you.